is the source of light in all luminous objects. He is beyond the darkness of matter and is unmanifested. He is knowledge. He is the object of knowledge. And he is the goal of knowledge. He is situated in everyone's heart. You have recited the one meaning? Yes, sir. <coughs> ज्योतिषापि तद्ज्योति तमस परमुच्य ज्ञान गेयम ज्ञान गम्यम विस्थित Jyoti, Jyoti means light. There are different types of light. There is lamp, there is candle, there is electric bulb. Uh, the power also, they have different powers, 100 powers, 50 powers, 25. There are different grades of Jyoti. But there is supreme jyoti, just like this moon, moon, this night is full moon. This moon has got its illumination. But where from this illumination comes? It comes from the sun sign. The Sun sign is reflected on the moon, and the moon has become illuminating source. Just like in a mirror, when there is reflection of the sun sign, the mirror can also reflect another dark place, not independently. Everyone in childhood, everyone has played with a mirror. Just put a mirror in front of the sun sign and the reflection is there and you can uh, pass on the reflection in the darkest place and it will be illuminated. Have you got experience? Yes. <clears throat> Similarly, neither the mirror has got uh, reflection, neither the dark place can be illuminated by the mirror. But when the sun sign is there on the mirror, the mirror acts as illuminating agent and it dissipates the darkness of a corner. Uh, the sun sign is the source of all light. In the material world we have got experience with sun sign, jyoti, prakash. But where from the sun sign comes? Sun sign is also a reflection of another jyoti or illumination. That illumination is called Brahma Jyoti. And where from that Brahma Jyoti emanates, that emanates from Krishna. Uh, just like the sun sign is emanation from the sun glow, and the sun glow is fiery, illuminated on account of <coughs> the persons within the sun glow. They have got some bodily rays. That rays is emanating from their body. Therefore the whole sun planet looks like fiery planet. And from there the illumination comes and it is reflecting on the moon. And the moon is illuminating the whole dark night. This is called Purnima. So one is borrowing the illumination from the other, 
But there is the supreme source of illumination, that is Krishna. <coughs> that is confirmed in the Brahman Sanghita. Jasya Prabha Prabhavato Jagadanna Kuti. Jasya Prabha, the bodily rays of Krishna, being illuminated in that illumination which is called Brahma Jyoti, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets. The Vaikuntha planets are self-illuminating. Therefore, in the spiritual world there is no darkness. Tamasa para, that which is said here, that jyoti tamasa param uchyati. That spiritual world is beyond this material world. This material world is called tamo. Tamo means darkness, just like this night. It is darkness. Uh, why it is darkness? By nature it is dark. Simply by the sunshine, moonshine, electricity, we keep it brightened for some time. Otherwise, by nature it is darkness. <coughs> Similarly, there is another word, parasasmatu bhava anya, another uh, cosmic manifestation, spiritual cosmic manifestation, where there is no need of sun sign. Natatra bhasayati surja na chan na chan. There is no need of sun sign, there is no need of moon sign, as here in this darkness, material world, there is arrangement by God to illuminate the darkness of this world. There is sun, there is moon, there is electricity, there is fire. But in the spiritual world, which is tamasapara, which is beyond this darkness of this material world, there is jyoti. That word here it is said, jyoti samapim tad jyoti param. There are different kinds of illumination, sunshine, moonshine, electricity, fire. But that jyoti, which is directly emanating from Krishna's body, <coughs> that is the real jyoti. Uh, so, on account of Krishna's bodily rays, uh, the whole creation is coming out. That is Krishna's inconceivable power, Brahma jyoti. Janmadasya jataha, athāta brahma jīgyāsa, in the Vedānta Sutra, you have to inquire about that param jyoti, brahma jyoti. <coughs> and from that param jyoti everything is coming out, just like from the sun sign. What is this material world? This material world is resting on the sun sign. Because the sun sign is there, therefore all the planets are rotating. There is a small uh, machine, and as soon as it is heated within that machine, the balls begin to rotate. Similarly, there is certain temperature of the sun sign, the whole planetary system is rotating on the orbit. On account of the sun sign. This is scientifically true. <coughs> and because there is sun sign, there is vegetation, there is water, there is rainfall, and from the rainfall there is agricultural products. Uh, so as the sun sign is the cause of all material variegatedness, 
Similarly, this sunshine is also due to the Brahma Jyoti. <coughs> the sunshine. Jatchakshuri Sushavita Sakalagrahana. The sun is described in the Brahma Sangita as the eyes for all the planets. Jatchakshuri Esa Sakalagrahanam Chakshu. The sun is the actual eyes uh, for all the planets, because unless there is sun sign, you cannot see. We are very much proud of our eyes. Sometimes we challenge, can you show me God? But he does not think that what power his eyes have got. It is complete, completely dependent on the sun sign. If there is no sun sign, his so-called eyes are useless. Still with that useless eyes he wants to see God. Just see. Can you show me God? I am not seeing God. God. God cannot be seen. Therefore I don't believe in God. But he does not think that what power he has got to see. It is only dependent on sun sign. Not only this planet, all the planets, unless there is sun sign, because it is darkness. This material world is simply darkness. Tamasi ma juti gamo. The Vedic instruction is don't keep yourself in this darkness of material world. Come out to the spiritual world, juti gamo. <coughs> So people do not think of their imperfectness of the senses, how the senses working dependent on the laws of material nature. Still, man is very proud of his senses, especially of the eyes, adhakhik, everything dependent on his eyes. Although his eyes are completely useless without being helped by the light of the sun. So actually these eyes are useless. Uh, the eyes of the eyes is the sun. Jatchakshuri uh, Sasavita Sakalagrahana. Every planetary system there are many millions and trillions of living entities. They can see only when there is sunrise. The Gayatri Mantra is therefore often in prayer to the Savita, Om Bhurgava Sata Savitu Varannam Bhargadeva Sadhimai. <coughs> sunshine. So sunshine is, but there are many suns, not only one sun, and there are many universes. Jasya Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti. Kuti means in numberless universes. And in each and every universe there is sun sign. Uh, so this sun sign is the reflection of the Brahma Jyoti. Just a prabha prabhavatu. When the uh, bodily rays, shining rays of Krishna is there, then <coughs> All these universes are generated. The universes are also generated. Uh, in another place, the Saika Nishasita Kalamatha Vilamba, Jivanti Loma Vilaja, Jagadanda Natha. Jagadanda Natha. Jagadanda Natha means, Jagadanda means universe. Each universe has a principal living being. That is Lord Brahma. So there are many innumerable Brahmas also, innumerable Sivas, innumerable suns, innumerable moons. Because there are innumerable uh, universes. And each and every universe, there are innumerable planets. Just sa Prabha Prabhavatu, Jagadanna Koti, Koti Su, Asesha Vasudhadi. Vasudha means this planet. Vibhuti Vinnam, each planet has got different atmosphere. 
Therefore these people, they cannot understand what is the atmosphere. They understand. Some scientists, they say the atmosphere in the moon planet is 200 degrees below zero. So there are different of scientist opinion. But according to Vedic literature, you understand that uh, there are innumerable planets and one of the planet is the moon planet. Nakhatranam uh, ahadasasi, nakhatranam, among the stars and planets. Krishna says, I am the moon. <coughs> so jyoti sāmhi, uh, jyoti, tamasapvara. Uh, uh, so this jyoti, this illumination is beyond this material world. Uh, and because there is illumination, that illumination is reflected in the material world. Uh, you will find the reflection, bliss reflection in the sky. It means that Brahma Jyoti is bliss because it is coming out from the blue body of Krishna. Therefore it is bliss. Uh, we see the sky bliss, uh, and in the darkness we see, although it is darkness, there is some brightness in the sky. All this, this sky is, the sky is everywhere, but the covering is sometimes covered by different types of material elements. And that Brahma Jyoti is penetrating through the covers and little reflection we can see in the sky. So therefore, here it is said, Jyoti Samapi, Jyoti Samapi, that Jyoti Samasapara, Uchate, Gyanam Gyam, Gyanagammam, it is Harvasa. Vistitam. Uh, Krishna is situated in everyone's heart. Actually, he is knowledge and he is the object of knowledge, Gyam. And one should try to understand Krishna. Gyanam, Gyam, Gyanagammam. Uh, and he is in everyone's heart. Ishara, Sarvabhutana. Riddhesya Arjuna Tishthati. Simply, we have to uh, know the process, how to know him. Uh, that is explained already. We have discussed. Amanittam, Agamvittam, Ahinsha, Khanti, Adamam, Acharyopasanam, Indriya, Vinigraham, Bhakti Yuga, Mancha, Bhavicharni, Bhakti Yugena. These things are already discussed. So human life is meant for understanding this. Athaka Brahmaji. These are all Brahma subject. They are not material subject matter. Tattva Bos Bhadanti Tat Tattva Vidas Tattam. Just Gana Madhya. So this Vedic civilization is meant for Brahma realization. Therefore, we have got so many Vedic literatures. Bhagavad Gita is only a part, A, B, C, D, the first book of spiritual knowledge. Still, people are so degraded that they cannot understand even Bhagavad Gita, the A, B, C, D. What they will understand? Uh, other things. Uh, their education is so poor and they are so unfortunate that in Bhagavad Gita, which Krishna left behind him, Krishna was present five thousand years ago on this planet, and just to benefit us, he left his instruction, Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Arjuna did not require the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. He was already enlightened. But he uh, presented himself as a fool just to induce the Lord to speak on Bhagavad-gītā. 
and it is noted by Vyasadeva, Vedabhyas, in the Mahabharata, so that people may take advantage of the instruction of the Supreme Personality, God. Uh, everything is there. Uh, what is this Brahma Jyoti? What is this material world? What is the spiritual world? What is our object of life? What we should know? But we are, because we are so much influenced by the material world, especially in this age of Kuli, the age of misunderstanding and quarreling, that people are manda samanda matayo manda bhagga jivadrita prayena alpaya yusa kalavasmin jivadrita. In this age, their life is very short, span of life is very short. And Manda, all bad, not good men, Manda, and even there are so-called good men, they have got their own process of knowledge, the speculative process, godless. The main basic principle of speculative process is to avoid Krishna, to avoid God. There are so many commentaries on Bhagavad Gita to make Krishna kneel. Uh, that is uh, uh, mental speculation. Uh, somebody is saying that in the Bhagavad Gita there is karma only recommended. Somebody says gyan, somebody says yoga, somebody says bhakti. But actually, Bhagavad Gita is meant for bhaktas. Bhaktosi sakacheti. Uh, Bhagavad Gita was instructed to John for his only qualification that he was a devotee of Krishna. <coughs> Bhaktosi means sakacheti. So, the whole Bhagavad Gita is a sense of Vedic knowledge. And the Vedic knowledge means to understand Krishna. Vedishya sarva yaham yiva vedya. Vedishu dullava adul lava atma bhakto. Even if you study Vedic literature, without bhakti, without studying the Vedic literature, <coughs> You cannot understand the absolute truth. Bhakta truth of Gritaya. Tasadda dhanasya munayo gyano vairagu jyuktvaya. Tasadda dhanasya munayo. Those who are faithful, such great saintly persons, saddha dhanasya munayo gyano vairagu jyuktvaya. Jnana vairāgya jiktaya. There is sufficient knowledge and vairāgya. Detached. Vairāgya, Vedānta knowledge is not to be discussed on the table as a recreation, taking tea and smoking and discussing on Vedānta sutra. This kind of discussion will not help. Jnana vairāgya jiktaya, vairāgya. There must be detachment from material activities. Tasya dadhāna sa munayo jnana vairāgya pasyanti ātmani ātmānam bhaktā sruta grihitaya. Bhaktā, there must be bhakti. And what kind of bhakti? Not sentiment, but sruta grihitaya. Taking, accepting bhakti, the devotional path, after being completely aware of the spiritual science, bhakta sruta bhakti. Sruta, the specific meaning of sruta means this knowledge has to be received through the ear, through the tongue. Sevanamukhi jivhado. Sruta grihitaya. It is never explained in the Vedic literature that the science of God can be understood by the eyes. 
No. It has been mentioned the tongue and the ear. These are the sources, Sruta Grihitaya. One must hear the Vedic literature. The Vedic literature is called their goal, Sruti, Srotriyam, Brahma Nishtam. Uh, Srotriyam. Formerly there was no book. Uh, the students used to hear from the spiritual master. Sruta, Srotriyam. That was perfect. There was no, no need of uh, literacy. Uh, that year is sufficient. Sruta Brihitaya, Tasadda Dhana Samunayu, Jnana Bhiraga said, hearing, hearing, hearing. One becomes enlightened with knowledge, and the effect of knowledge is Bhiraga. Bhiraga means detachment. Uh, otherwise, we uh, hearing or studying, but there is no Bhiraga. Even big, big sannyasis, they cannot. They are in a saffron dress, but the vairāgya, so far vairāgya is concerned, if you study their inner history, there is no vairāgya. They are attached to all kinds of material in the Orient. Simply a soap bottle dress, that will not help, but there must be vairāgya. That vairāgya can be achieved by book. Bhakta Sruta Bhidhitaya. When you hear, Bhakta means uh, through the devotees, or you becoming devotee, that must be devotional service. And Bhakti means uh, Seman Mukha, the attitude of rendering service to the Lord. That is Bhakti. Rishi Kena, Rishi Kesa, Sevanam, Bhakti Ruchyate. Bhakti means when you engage your senses for the service of the master of the senses, Rishikesha, that is called Bhakti. Uh, bhakti is not sentiment. Just like these boys, these American, European boys, Indian boys who are working for Krishna consciousness, they are simply engaging their senses in the service of the master of the senses, Krishna. Therefore they are making progress. Rishikina, Rishikesa, Sevanam, Bhakti Richat. Sevanam Mukehi Jivadu, Samevas Puratada. When you engage your tongue in the uh, loving service of the Lord, he becomes revealed. He manifests himself. Vishara Sarvabhutanam Riddesha Jodh is already there within your heart. And if you become purified, tatparatena uh, nirvalam, sarvapadhi vininmuttam tatparatena nirvalam. If you become nirmal, if you become purified, how you, you can become purified? Tatparatena, just being absorbed in thought of Krishna, tatparatena uh, nirvalam. If you simply remain always in fire, uh, then you remain always warm. There is no possibility of being caught by the chilly coldness. That is not possible. Maya so the only process for keeping yourself aloof from the touch of Maya is bhakti. Is bhakti. That is the conclusion of all shastras. Without taking to the process of bhakti, you cannot get out of the influence of Maya. Uh, uh, that is required. Uh, that is the objective of life. Gayam Jnāgammam, uh, uh, uh. so if we utilize our life for understanding the Supreme, Gyaṁ, Jnāgammam, uh, 
you will be able to understand Krishna. And as soon as you understand Krishna, your life becomes successful. Janma kanmangai dibbam jujyanati tattva. So the same tattva, in true, not superficially. If you understand Krishna, then takta deham punar janmanaiti. After giving up this body, you will not have to accept another material body. That is samsiddhiṁ paramāṅgata, that is highest perfection of life. If you don't accept anymore the material form of body, there are eight million four hundred thousand species of body, any type of body you accept, it is troublesome, it is miserable. Matras Parsasthu Kaunti or Sridhasna Sukhudukkada. The bodily pains and pleasure are perceivable. Matras Parsasthu. Because we have got this material skin, matra, and when it is touched, in touch with the influence of this material world, matras Parsasthu, it becomes subject of pains and pleasure. But if you don't have this material body, then you are untouched by the material qualities. You are completely in spiritual body. Now there is no question of pains and pleasure. It is simply blissful life. Mahamupita kukantiya dukhālaya vasāsatam lāpnubhanti mahātmāna saṅgasiddhiṁ paramāngatā that is the highest perfection of life. If you come back, if you go back to home, back to God, Krishna, there you get Satchidananda body, eternal, blissful body of knowledge. That is our aim. Gyanagammam, gyam. That is Gyanagammam. <coughs> that part, the bhakti path has to be accepted bhakta śrūta grihitaya by knowledge in the Vedic literature, by hearing. Śrūta grihita means I, the Vedic literature is also understood by hearing from the uh, bona fide spiritual master. Satāṁ prasaṅgāt mama bīja saṅvida bhavanti ritkanna rasāyana katha. Unless you hear from realized soul, it is not possible. It is simply by speculation, it is useless to stop time. Tesam klesala eva vasishyate, after hearing, for many, many years, the Vedas from the non realized soul, simply hearing from this hole of the ear and going out from the other hole, that kind of hearing will not help us. Therefore, Krishna says that satam prasangad mava bija saṅgida bhavanti ritkanna rasāyana katha. Satam prasangad. In the association of devotees, if you discuss about the message of Krishna, then it becomes very relishable, pleasing to the ear and to the heart. And if we bring them into practical, use of life, tajyosana, asu, very soon, apavargavatmane, on the path of liberation, sadhya, faith, bhakti, devotion, roti, attachment, anupramishyati comes one after another, one after another. So this is the process. <coughs> So we shall discuss tomorrow.